So my wife and I just got done painting this mural, which you can see here up on the screen. And I thought it'd be cool to give some tips for what we did painting on brick because it can be pretty daunting if it is your first time as a muralist. What's cool is that brick is actually pretty forgiving. I'm gonna show you exactly why, but let's talk about first thing that I would do is definitely clean the brick before you start painting on it because it's essentially like a never ending amount of red dust. So you either need like a dish brush, that's what I use, like a simple dish brush, or you can get a really thick rag like one of these. This is like a really thick microfiber rag that is like super strong. You can just like pour some water and, and get on get on with it and it'll come off. So definitely clean the brick before you start painting on it. Otherwise, you're gonna start touching the paint with all that red dust and you're gonna get like a weird white pink look. And when you go to clean it later, a lot of it's gonna come off because you've been painting on top of dust. So the second thing you wanna do on brick this is really with any mural it doesn't it doesn't matter like if it's brick or, or a wall or whatever is definitely measure out in painters tape so I like to use frog tape which is this uh, this this guy right here a frog tape is awesome I think it's way better than the blue stuff I've had like a, a whole roll of the blue crap that's in there and I think it's not as good it's not as strong as the green frog tape right here uh, and this stuck to brick quite well and that leads me to the next thing which is like how you're gonna do it I would definitely use a projector the only thing that you're gonna come into if you use a projector is if you have a really weak sauce one it's not gonna show up which is <laughs> what we had to borrow a friend of ours that had a much beefier brighter lumen projector to project it on top of it because ours was super weak brick is dark and red and it sucks in a lot of light so when we were using using ours, it just dissipated and was gone. So you need a really, really, really strong projector. Okay, so what type of brushes should you use? Um, I would use obviously synthetic bristles. We use these synthetic brushes for the, the bigger, beefier parts. The This one right here is one and a half inch. You could also use, I think this one right here is just an inch, uh, like a much smaller mural, I guess. But then we also used brushes all the way down this size as well, which is really, really, whoopsie which is really 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 small so you can see the size difference here like we use this brush for like the really big thick letters and we use this brush for some of the details but we also had to use these paint pins i'm using the posca brand here obviously we didn't use green but you can see here this is kind of like a fat size and this is kind of like a medium size and then this one right here, we even used some of these, which is like a really, really small size. And these just became shredded. That's why I have all these other colors is because all the white ones just became completely shredded. But if you're doing something really, really detailed on brick, these will do the job for you. You just have to use several of them. I think it took us three of the white ones for about probably one foot by two foot illustration. It took three of them, but it'll do it. It'll just shred them to mess. Okay, so what about the paint that you need? Well, this one's pretty easy. It's just latex paint. You can pretty much get that anywhere i have the can right here that i used which is just like it i mean it literally says on there that it's meant for brick um it's just latex latex paint i mean you can only get it in a gallon pretty much i don't know anywhere else that you can get uh, latex paint by like a pint or whatever that would have been way more preferable but anyway all of this all together is not very expensive like the brushes were maybe three or four dollars the paint's like 28 dollars this rag comes in a pack for like five dollars like a lot of this stuff is not expensive at all so the last tip that i would have for like making your mural refined is to definitely just have like a, a razor blade like a knife it doesn't have to be super sharp I mean this one is really really not sharp at all very very dull I think I got it from Walmart or it might have been Amazon for like three or four dollars but the reason I would use a knife is because brick is very per forgiving in that remember I said it's basically just clay it's a never-ending amount of red dust well you can take the knife and you can go and clean up the edges so if you accidentally spill paint paint, which is what we would do, it'd spill off the brush onto the brick. Uh, you can easily take your knife and go scrape it off really easy, basically like nothing ever happened. So what I would do with all of the letters that you see here really big is I went around every single curve, every single line of the letters with my knife and basically took both of my hands like this and went from the outside up to the inside of the letter to make sure that it was really, really crisp, really, really nice and clean. Definitely use a knife or, or at least have a knife with you because it's going to save you a lot of trouble. So you definitely want to have some water uh, to clean your brick you definitely want to have a brush or a rag you want to have your synthetic your kind of nylon bristle brush
brushes, you wanna have your latex paint, uh, your painter's tape, a projector, obviously, unless you're just a baller at freehand. Like I was not about to paint a seven foot mural freehand. I'm just not that good. You can do it, it's really easy. I mean, I, I guess some of these steps apply to like any type of mural, but this is really for brick. I mean, you definitely wanna have, you definitely wanna have the right materials and it's gonna set you up for success. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you like the mural, by the way. Obviously, shout out to Summer Moon. If you're in the Wake Forest area, if you're ever stopping by, definitely go grab a cup. It's awesome. You may see me there. I'm there a lot. And so hopefully these tips will help you if you're going to do your own mural or something like that. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Oh, also, don't forget to subscribe. That would be awesome. Peace.